Well, welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm your host, Jim Dempsey. Well, welcome to another episode of Jim and Java. I'm always excited to be here. We're moving through the month of January. It's just remarkable how quickly the weeks and the days go by. And I am excited about the prospect. I have just so many uh, organizations contacting me about dinners and so many of the activities. My organization is doing dinners all in the spring and some in the fall at this point in time. Uh, it just It's really exciting as so many of our, our viewers are moving back to normal with events and I am hearing numbers that are exceeding pre-pandemic numbers, if not at least equaling that. And that is really, really exciting from my standpoint. Of course, there's a lot of other things going on, working with foundations, with planned giving, with major donor appointments. Uh, appointments are seem to be going well this spring for a lot of organizations. We have a major donor weekend that we have in April and that will be in Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm excited about the prospect of having 200 to 250 or more people come together and consider giving 14 to 15 million dollars. So that is an exciting prospect. So as we move into this month, I've, I'm getting a lot more questions than we ever did. Our first question for the week is from Alicia in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And Alicia asks, what is the standard for when you send a handwritten thank you versus a personal call versus an invite to coffee? Well, Alicia, thank you for that question. And it always is so important for us to do all we can to develop relationships with people. Uh, I am never more discouraged when I hear individuals really looking at donors as dollar signs. We've got to see them as partners, as an important part of our total development effort that without their gifts, without their partnership, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing. And so it's so important that we communicate and stay connected with them. Normally what I find if someone is coming to an event, they've given a gift to us, I like to send a thank you note almost to 100% of the people no matter what. And that could be a typed up thank you. But when we get to a written thank you, I generally like to look at individuals who have get made gifts of $100 or more. That doesn't mean that the smaller gifts are not important. We've just got to maximize our time and, and our capacity for what we can do. Would I love to give a handwritten letter to everyone? Absolutely. But I was listening to someone the other day from another organization share with me that after writing 700 thank you letters and thank you notes to people, uh, that $5 gift, it just seemed very tough to write that thank you note. And it isn't, once again, anything to do with value or importance. Every one of our partners, our donors, are worthy of a thank you, but it's just what kind of a thank you. Now, normally what I do is, if I'm just looking at the standard, I will make a phone call if someone has given a gift of 500 or 1,000 up to five thousand dollars so 499 now those individuals i really really base it on relationships and the quantity the number of those kinds of of calls that your organization has to make if you have got a team of mid-level callers for example and their job is to call people by all means you can go down to the 500 but if you've got a lot of people in that mid-level area and very few callers you may want to consider just a thousand to 499 now generally if someone gives a gift of five thousand dollars or more now again once again it's based on every organization we've got different levels without in our organization if someone gives ten thousand dollars or more they get a get call from someone if a gift is given of $25,000 or more, they get another higher level call. And then if someone gives $100,000 or more, they get, they get the president of the organization 
uh, will make a call. So every organization is different, but generally $5,000 for most organizations, that warrants a personal appointment from people. And so if you are not big enough that you have got field representatives that are visiting people, and all it is is either you being the executive director or a development person, I would look at $5,000 or more and considering meeting with those people for coffee and just thanking and appreciating them for their gift. Smaller organizations, they rarely get twenty-five, fifty, a hundred thousand dollars or more gifts. Normally they're somewhere between five, ten, and twenty-five thousand. If that's your organization, then I would consider that five thousand dollar level being there. Now, knowing all those as the standards, as Alicia was asking, the relationship really supersedes everything. If you've got a close relationship with someone and you want to send a note and follow up with a, a text or you want to send a note and follow up with a phone call, no matter what the size, you can do that. And so relationship is a really, really important factor in this. But the biggest element is just the fact that you're communicating with people, that you are staying connected with them, and that you are allowing them to feel like they are insiders. I've used the analogy of marriage and dating so many times over the years, but I'm going to use it again today. If I went on a date with my wife and she didn't hear from me for a week, a month, uh, six months, I don't believe I'd be married to my wife today. But what I did was immediately after the first date, I called my wife the next day and I had a nice discussion. We set up our next date. We had another date. We had fun times together. We had a connection, a bond that ended up leading to marriage. The same is with our partners. We want to get back to them as quickly as possible. Just as I called my wife the next day, out the door in 24 is my rule of thumb for thank you notes. You want to make sure that a thank you note and a call is, is done within 24 to 48 hours after an event or after a gift. Now, a personal appointment may take a little bit longer depending on your schedule and depending on their schedule, but be sensitive to that. So Alicia, I hope that helped answer your question and I hope that all of you who are watching today, if you are getting gifts from your partners, having events, doing anything related to uh, receiving uh, gifts with people, always do a thank you no matter what it is and then rise up to that different level of calling or personal visits. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've got other questions, please go out to Jim W. Dempsey on Twitter and use the hashtag Jim and Java. You can reach me on Instagram. I've got a number of videos on Instagram at Jim W. Dempsey. And also I'm posting separate weekly videos out on our Life Changers Facebook group. Uh, I've got a Thursday morning coffee tip with Jim Dempsey. And so go out there and be a member of our Life Changers group. And absolutely, please subscribe to this channel. So we exist, I exist, to see that your organization is fully funded this year. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week and see you in the next video.